thank you for that salvation that's freely given to us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us and teaching us in each day, Lord, and yes, opening our yes. eyes of the blind, Lord, so mm -hmm. that they may see. We know, Lord, that there are many that stand for the Word of God, Lord, mm -hmm. and stand on the Word of God and confess your holy name, Lord, but there are not many that open their mouths, Lord, and preach the Word, and many that go out and live the Word, Lord. I pray, Lord, in this day, Lord, that conviction would go out in this day unto your people, because you always convict your people, Lord. And let us know when we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Yes. There are many, Lord, that stand in the pulpit that preach your word, Lord, and don't go out and do your word. I pray, Lord, you would convict them in this day, Lord. And let them not lead your sheep astray. Mm -hmm. All these things I pray for, Lord, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Will Ruffin. Brother Will Ruffin's been here in this prayer room uh, for 20 years. And uh, he started with us way back when, and he's still here and still loving the Lord. Anyone else now that would like to lead out in prayer, go right ahead. We are still on the line with you, and we'll be on to the top of the hour. And we would uh, welcome you to, to uh, be a part. So go right ahead and pray if you'd like. Dr. Ronnie, would you lead us in prayer, please? Father, it is a joy always to uh, come before you, Lord, to know that you hear us, and we give you praise today for being our Father, for loving yes, us. Yes, Lord. And Father, we love you, and we want to praise you and worship you, and we want our lives to be a witness to uh, your work and to what you're doing in us, and we want to honor you with our lives. We want to see uh, your name glorified in us and through us as your people. And this is our burden, Father, that your people would yes, awaken, Lord. Father, throughout this land, God. It's just our hearts are broken, Father, just to see look, the lack of concern. And, Father, the, the way the enemy is, seems to just beat your people about. And, and Father, they, they've been so weakened by the failure to get into your word, the failure to be taught, to led, to walk with you, Father. And we ask that your Holy Spirit would bring mighty conviction to your people. And to the pastors in the pulpits today, that you would awaken us, Father, as your people. And because we, Lord, if we would take a stand, we know the difference that could take place here. As we, as we call upon you, as we seek your face, and as we claim your power and your blessing to see this nation turned back to you. Yes, Lord. I pray, Father, for those who have uh, banded together in prayer across this nation. May their tribe increase. Yes, Lord. Lord, may every you, prayer Lord. line continue to... Uh, to bombard your throne, to present their, their pleas to you, Father, because you, Father, are our source. Yes, it's Lord. only because of your grace and mercy that we're still here as a people. And we ask, God, for your continued mercy, Lord, to spare us until, God, we call upon you and return, Father. Give, have, have mercy. Yes, and, Lord, just, yes. we just ask that you extend your grace to us that we might continue to have your power and blessing for, for, for Pastor Wiley and for his work, Father, and here in this place and for... For Dran Reese and all those others uh, yeah. in the Capitol there, for uh, uh, Tony Perkins and all of those groups that are standing and, and raising a banner for righteousness, Father. Lord, we ask that you would move in the hearts of these Supreme Court justices, Father, in their minds. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Show them how to think correctly, Lord, and to reason correctly and not be so controlled by the sentiments of, uh, of others and the emotions and all of the nonsense that's going on, Father. We ask you, God, to help wisdom and righteousness to prevail. And, Father, we ask you, Lord, to move in a mighty way and show your hand, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Ronnie. Someone else, lead us in prayer. Gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to pray for each and every one of those out there trying to change the direction of this nation, Lord God. Yes. We thank you for those that are falling on bending knee and praying to you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. But we especially pray for those that have been called by you to take that next step, Father God. And that's our missionaries, Father God. Mm -hmm. uh, Father God, we have missionaries across this nation and around the world, Father God. Not only from Southern Baptists, but from Calvary and all the other groups, Father God, that have come. They have commissioned those that are willing to say, I will go and tell somebody. Oh, mm -hmm. gracious Father in heaven, help us, Father God, as we stand on the streets of this nation yes. and share the gospel yes. of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, as we knock on doors to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, 
as the doors of our churches are open mm -hmm. they invite those in that are hurting father god yes. and that are looking for a direction to go in that father god we will open yes. their eyes to the truth and that they will follow our lord and savior jesus yes, christ oh yes, gracious father. father in heaven we thank you for the seeds that you planted within our heart mm -hmm. and we thank you for the fruit that is bringing forth now lord god Give us the ability not only to pick that fruit, Father God, but make it nourishing for others that they too will glorify your holy and blessed name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And Father, we thank you for uh, one of our brothers in Christ, Rusty Thomas, who is putting together a prayer meeting in Montgomery, Alabama. We lift that up and we pray for it. It's going to be the 11th through the 18th. It is a prayer meeting in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, there with Judge Roy Moore, who has stood for righteousness. Years ago, he stood uh, for the Ten Commandments and literally got fired because he did. He is now back in that position. God saw fit to vindicate him, saw fit to have the people reelect him as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in Montgomery. And, uh, Lord, we thank you for that. But he's mm -hmm. fighting now this fight against the devil wanting to approve marriage of any kind or any sort. And he's being uh, uh, resisted in that. And so we stood with him there on the steps many years ago. When I say we, I'm not bragging on me, Lord. I was just one of the preachers who said, I'm coming to stand. And we did. And we're going to go there on the 11th and uh, stand with him. I don't know if I personally will be able to go or not. I hope I can. I want to go. But, Lord, I, I bring it before you, and I ask for your will and your way to determine if I should be there. And so, Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing. Uh, be with Rusty Thomas. Uh, he's put together a, a thing for churches, put together a thing to say we will stand with uh, the governor. I, will, I mean the uh, Supreme Court Justice, Roy Moore. <laughs> And we thank you, Lord, for the people there that are standing with him. Continue to bless in Jesus' name. Now, anyone else that would like to pray, go right ahead. <clears throat> right now, according to the clock, we've got about seven minutes before this prayer time is over. And we don't want to hurry or rush anybody, but we do uh, usually stop right at the top of the hour if we're through. And sometimes we are and sometimes we're not. But is there anyone else on the line right now that would like to say, uh, I, would, uh, I would pray and go ahead and lead us in prayer if you would, please. There are one moderator and five participants on the call. All right, so there's five of us on the call other than me. So any of you that would like, go right ahead and lead us in prayer. Lynn. Go ahead. Oh, dear Lord, I thank you that we can come together before you, um, not even knowing each other, mm. but knowing you. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, what's been on my heart is just how arrogant we as a people are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How we in America think that we, we always have this thought that we're the best and, mm. you know, the world needs everything we have. Lord, we're a mess. We're just a mess. We need your grace and forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God, I was just reading in the Washington Post earlier, and, and it was um, about Christianity and millennials. And Oh, Lord God, you know, it, it looks like either the church is a mega church rock band thing or it's... Mm -hmm. It's a more traditional church where, you know, old ladies and gays and the hippies can all get together. Oh, Lord, I thank you that you did die for sinners, but you didn't leave us sinners. Yes, yes. thank you, Lord. You died. You died to give us life, mm. but we turn from our sin. Yes, and Lord yes. God, we're... So we want to be accepting of everybody and, mm -hmm. and, and tell them all, you know, like whitewash their sin and everything's okay, and it's not. We can't whitewash our sin. Anytime we whitewash our sin, we're in deep, deep trouble. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, we Lord. have to come to you and, and, and see our sin. And yes, love our neighbors. And yes, love those who are not saved. But we can't not tell the truth. That's right. We can't say it's okay to keep sinning because it's not. You didn't call us from that. You called us out of that. And you give us power to, to walk the way you call us to walk and to be obedient to you. I ask, Lord, that you would help us to help us see your truth and that Lord, you would you would you would build up those old time churches. Mm-hmm. And that people yes, that you Lord. must have a hunger for that. I mean we yes, could go Lord. get rock music anywhere. Yes, you know, we we don't need that. Right, we need to worship yes. you the way you desire to be worshipped. Mm-hmm. Yes, so I ask Lord. you, Lord, to give us a heart for that. Mm-hmm. To give us a heart that is true to you and that pleases you and brings you glory yes, and yes, joy. Lord. I ask Lord that you would help this country and all of us to see what is right and true. To, to be aware, as I was listening this morning um, to Washington Journal and, and the whole thing about there, there are no jobs. I mean, we've, we've like joined in this global thing, and there aren't going to be any jobs. Now, that isn't what they're saying. They're trying to say, oh, but it's okay. We just need to retrain people in whatever it is we can't do. And, um, you know, we're allowed to do everything. But also, Lord, that that we have to bring in all these illegal aliens because we haven't had enough babies. Lord, you're the only person who can fix this. And, and you know what? If it's not fixable and it's not fixed, that's okay, too, as long as it's your will. Yeah. What we desire is your will and, and your grace and your strength. Yes, because Lord. Because the word says, those of us who are yours, must endure to the end. And so, Lord, I pray that we will endure and be obedient and that even if we're hanging on by our fingernails, we're looking at you hanging on because you are powerful. Yes, Lord. You you are all. There is nothing but you that matters. So, Lord, give us all the ability and the understanding of your word. I I just want anything, more than anything, we yeah. there's so many of us who have spent time praying and singing and doing all this, but Lord, are we going to your word? Mm. Do we know you? Do we listen? Do we obey what you wrote yes, in your Lord. word to us to obey? Thank you. Oh, I thank you for your word, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you, and I praise you. Oh, praise you, Almighty God. Praise, praise you. your holy name. In your name, yes. I pray. Amen. Praise your holy name. Amen. 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 Father God. This is Diane. This is Diane in Michigan. And Lord, I just say amen to everyone that has been lifted to you today, Father. And I just, I thank you, Lord, that you will um, shake pastors across this nation, Lord, mm-hmm. to awaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lord, I don't know if they didn't learn mm-hmm. about prophecy, which is such a huge percentage of the Bible, Lord. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they just want more of life and they're not ready to leave this earth as we all are, Lord, whatever it is, I just pray in Jesus' precious name that you will awaken pastors and get them educated, Lord. You can do it divinely, Lord. You can lead them to someone um, who can teach them what they need to know, but they will inform their flock, yes, Lord. Lord, that they will love on yes. their flock mm. and teach them what is coming down on us, Lord. Mm. Yes. Because, Father, I thank you that in your holy word, in your precious love letter, you um, you told us, you told us these things have to come to pass. Yes. And don't worry. You told us 365 times, don't worry. But look up, because our redemption is about to draw an eye, Lord. Mm, We just thank you, Father, that um, when everything is upside down across this world and across our nation that we love so much, that you've already told us that right is going to seem wrong, and wrong is going to be made to look right. That's right. And I just praise you, Lord, because we would be so frustrated if we did not already hear from our precious Jesus. It's going to be that way. Don't fret, Lord. 
I thank you that you are our sovereign God. Yes. I thank you that yes. you mm. are working all things up to yes. our good. Amen. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name, that no matter what, you will give us the courage. Yes. And as Lynn just prayed, Lord, we will stand strong with you. And just as Stephen looked up and saw Jesus and said, forgive them, Lord. Don't mm, hold this yes. against them, mm. Lord, because they don't understand, Father. Yes. I just thank you that you've called us out of the darkness and the light, that you've chosen us to see the light, Lord. Yes, it yes, so Lord. It's so horrible to have that kind of mentality. And I just praise you, Lord that you're working all things together for our good. And yes, I yes. thank you most of all for calling us according to your purpose. In Jesus' precious name, I say hallelujah. I love you. I thank you, Lord, for calling all of our loved ones. And when you, if you, when you grab us out of here, Lord, that you will bring every single person with our DNA along with us, Lord. Yes. Lord show us how to reach the lost. Yes, and Lord. And show us what our job on earth is to do. Um, should you carry and while we're here in Jesus' precious name I thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well folks thank you Lord. Father God Go ahead. Father God we come before you and Lord God as each and every one has said uh, we're praying for this nation and how it's trying to manipulate us. Mm -hmm. Even Father God is shutting down of businesses uh, Radio Shack uh, Walmarts and over 150 different uh, facilities that will be shutting down their stores in the different areas, Father God. We just ask, Lord, for whatever the reason may be, that, Father God, that you were in a seat, yes, that, Father God, yes. it be not a way that they manipulate us. Uh, gas going back up to over $4 a gallon, Father God. Uh, uh, rent and uh, to purchase a home, Father God. It's outrageous numbers right now, Father God. And so, Lord God, we just ask that you intercede in this situation where the, the, the communities, the state, and the nation do not manipulate the people and force them into a situation yes. that they have to bow down to them. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Hitchhiker. And we do pray. And we know the Lord's still in charge. And Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we know... Amen. As I shared with somebody not too long ago, I said, uh, they said, well, what do you think about the whole circumstance? I said, well, I read the last chapter of the book, and the last chapter of the book says we win, yes. and we are going to we are going to win. We may lose some battles here and there and yonder, financially and otherwise, but we win, because one of these days Jesus is going to take us home and say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come into eternity with me, and we thank God for that. Well, folks, it's time for us to uh, end this prayer time televised and so forth. I would encourage you to continue to pray and to continue to uh, come back on this prayer line. We'll be open again at 4 o'clock today, and uh, then we'll also be open again at 5 o'clock today. This is a special day. Usually, we don't come back on until 5, but we'll be back on at 4 today with our friends in D.C., and we're praying and we're not panicking, we're not uh, struggling, yes. we're just wanting to be persistent, yes. and we just want to come before you, Lord, and say, yes, even Father. so, come, yes. Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you, folks, and have a great day. We'll see you at four. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Hey, it's Alan. Yeah, Alan, hang on. Let me call you right back, okay? We're still on the prayer line. We're just going off. I'll call you back in a few minutes. That's fine. Thank you. All right, that was another call that came in right as I hung us up. And so we're <coughs> off on the uh, telephone right now. And I want to say... Another call. Hello, caller. Hello? Charlene, hang on just hang on just a minute, Charlene. Yeah, go ahead.
Okay, hang on, hang on just a minute. Let me get us off the off the television line here. Hang on a minute.